everybody it's Michelle and I've got a fun project for you guys today using a little bubble from pantyhose and I took the pantyhose out of course and cleaned this completely and we'll just discard the lid or maybe save it back for another project and I'm going to show you guys how to make a little Christmas dome tree ornament using the bubble part of this pantyhose container. My first thought was to use some little bubble containers from um, the bubble gum machines and things that have little toys in them, but I found that those were very cloudy and it wouldn't make a good dome. You couldn't see through it, so I decided against that and I found these in my drawer with pantyhose in them. And if you guys can see, there's a little bit of engraving there on the top that I don't want, but we're going to find a way to cover that, and I'll show you in a little while. And then I've got three circles here that's going to be the bottom. And I cut one out of glitter cardstock and two out of a heavy watercolor paper. And we're going to layer those all together. And I did those with the one and three-fourths inch circle punch because that's what fits my little dome here and if you're using a different size one just find what size circle fits yours so I'm going to bring in my scrap paper here and I'm going to use my Elmer's Extreme glue stick and glue all these layers together make sure that it's all the way out to the edge Press those together and then put some more glue on top of that layer and cover that with our white glitter cardstock. That way it's going to be our little snowy base in there. So now inside of my dome I was trying to decide what could go in such a small dome and I didn't have any little deer ornaments or things like that that would fit in there and be small enough. And I had already used the little pom-pom snowman idea in my shaker ornament here. So I wanted to come up with something different. So I'm going to put inside a little gift and a stocking. And the stocking just came from like the little dress it up buttons. And you can find those at Walmart. And maybe even some different little ideas that would fit inside of there if you want to. They've got a lot of different cute options in the little dress it up buttons. But I'm just going to have that stocking leaning up against a little gift that I made. And I'm really pleased with this. I think it turned out so cute. And all I did was take a little square of styrofoam and I cut it into about a three quarter inch size. It was actually a circle to start with and I cut it into a square so it could be a gift. And I very tediously wrapped that gift with some holographic wrapping paper from Dollar Tree and put a ribbon around that and the ones going around the package are just kind of faux. They're just stuck on the bottom there with some of that double sided tape and then I made a little bow to go on the top. So that's going to go inside and we're going to be hot gluing that in. So I'm going to Put a little dot of hot glue there and stick that little gift down. I kind of went off center with it just a little bit so that I could lean my stocking up there too. And I think that's really cute. So that's going to make contact on our bottom edge and on this little loop here. So that's where I want to make sure I get my hot glue and just lay that right beside of our little gift. And that's going to fit nicely. I think that is so cute. Okay, and before we glue this on, we have to do everything that we need to do to get our toppers on there. So I'm just going to set that aside for a minute. And what I did was drill a tiny little hole in the top of there with my Dremel tool. 
and my 1 32nds of an inch drill bit. And that's just enough to fit through a head pin. So I'm going to put that through. And now is where we're going to be doing our work to cover that little etching there. So I've got a filigree piece here that's about an inch wide. And it's a flat filigree piece, but I'm going to try to bend it a little bit till it can go around the curve of that top part of our dome. And it's just going to sort of serve as like a large bead cap for our dome. Okay, so I decided to get my jewelry hammer and a golf ball. And I'm going to hammer that into the shape of the top of that. Okay, and then I'm just going to take my flat nose pliers and kind of help give that a downward curve. And now that'll fit over nicely. And I'm just going to put another bead cap and a sparkly Shambhala bead to finish that off. Bend that over at a 90 degree angle. Cut it down to probably close to a half inch. Since we're doing an ornament, I'm going to roll that with the back, back here at the widest part, so that we get a little bit bigger of a loop than we do on like our bead charms or something. And now we can glue that edge. So I'm just going to run hot glue around there and try to work very quickly. And set that down on the top. And then I'm going to come back around the outside edge a little bit to help hold that down. And we'll just cover that as we go with some decorative string. And then just cut that off. And that is all there is to it. All you have to do is add a decorative Christmas tree hook to that. And there you have a beautiful little ornament. I think that is so cute. So you guys be sure to leave a comment below and let me know what you think of my little ornament. I think it turned out so cute. I love to recycle for my craft materials. So don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give me a like over on my Facebook page and be sure to join our Facebook group Crafty Minds. Also follow me on Pinterest and Instagram and don't forget to visit my blog. I'll have the links to everything in the description below, so be sure and check them out.
Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.